Alrighty guys, now if I remember correctly, the correct button to press is this one right here. <laughs> Hello everybody, Skywarp3334 here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my finally finished Glamrock Freddy cosplay. It's been so long in the making. Uh, mainly due to a lot of like life stuff and things like that, but I finally finished them and I'm gonna give you guys the in-depth look at this dude, so Here we go, man. It feels like it's been so long since I've done like a showcase like this, so We're just trying to figure out how to do this again <laughs> Now before I get the whole costume on, I'm going to kind of give you guys a quick little showcase of each like segment uh, one at a time and then I'll give you guys a quick little uh, thing of me in the full costume on like my black screen uh, with a bunch of the voice lines, kind of like what I did when I did my uh, Springtrap uh, final costume showcase thing from ages ago. Um, but yeah, so. Let's get into it. What piece should we start with? Okay, well, we're gonna start with the boring stuff first. First off, his legs! That's crazy! Whoa! <laughs> okay, so, I pretty much built Glamrock Freddy the same way I did Springtrap, where I built all of his, like, extra segmented pieces with, like, these buckle clip connectors so that they're all able to sort of connect together and it basically forms a pair of pants essentially um, but this can come apart so that I can get it on or transport it easier just so like you know it's a costume you can't like have everything hooked together forever because then who knows what's gonna happen it could like explode spontaneously and I could get spring locked inside the costume if that happened so this is my little way around that is just adding these buckles so that I can have things like connected but like not connected at the same time. There's a good chance there's going to be a lot of rambling in this video because it's been just so long since I've made anything like this. But yeah, so here is the waist piece and the thighs. They're pretty much uh, just orange with some like brown like griming up paint on them. I actually really like what I did with the like paint details. I kind of decided to throw some like lines of dark paint in like certain angles and I don't know it's supposed to just look like dirt and stuff but I I really like the vibe of like I don't know the lines uh, so I added a bunch of them all over the place it's kinda hard to see them on camera from a distance but if you get an up close look you can kinda tell there's quite a few so these like L shaped sections are actually just the hot glue seams and I hid them by covering them in paint so I did my best to hide it but you know it is what it is and then the final section is his uh, shins here so they're pretty much just these red uh, cylinder pieces with this uh, knee shape cut into them and then I put uh, some paint on them you know like I did and then I'm a pretty big fan of this like darkened paint style down here because it pretty much, I don't know, makes it pop more, <laughs> I guess is the easiest way to describe it. So those are his legs. Now to the more exciting parts. The way I just phrased that made it seem like I get excited over these other parts, but that is not the case because the next thing we are looking at is his feet. <laughs> Please don't take this out of context, guys. I'm not a furry or anything. The robots. It's totally different. Am I in denial? No, the Nile's not even near where I live. What is this bit? I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> so, here is Glamrock Freddy's toes. Oh god, his toes! <laughs> okay, it's, it's nothing to write home about. Uh, I made these uh, kind of in a rush because I wanted to finish the costume in time for Motor City Comic Con because it kind of just sort of happened and I was like, oh shoot, Kellen Goff is going to be there. I want to show him my full Glamrock Freddy costume. I gotta finish this. So I spent like a week trying to finish up his feet and legs for it. So they're not like my, my best work, but they're pretty much Glamrock Freddy's toes. You know, this is what it is. They're technically made on a pair of Crocs, so if you ever see me in this costume, just know that I am rocking some Crocs 
Um, <laughs> sponsor me, Crocs. I need the money right now. I have rent. Rent is too expensive. <laughs> oh god, that is so silly. But yeah, so nothing too super crazy. Just pretty much, um, feet. <laughs> Maybe I'm losing my mind here. <laughs> it's been so long since I've done one of these. I'm forgetting how to do it. How do I do this? How do I do this? <laughs> oh my god. What are you looking at? I'm so sorry. <gasps> Turn that thing off! I'm not gay or anything. Or am I? God, there's gonna be so many clips taken out of context in this video. Who was that? Alright, next we're gonna take a look at his arms! Or at least one of them. So, if you guys have been following me on TikTok, you guys have probably seen this one from ages ago, uh, cause I've been working on this costume for what feels like a decade by now. But, um, so this is his... right arm. <laughs> Uh, um, and pretty much it's uh, one solid piece here, it's connected by a black strap in the center for that elbow joint. Pretty much the way I do it is so that it's flat so that when the, my arm is straight there's like a little bit of a gap but then when I need to bend my arm it uh, doesn't really get in the way of like the motion. So like my elbow will technically stick out of this but because there's so much to the costume it doesn't really bug me if you see like part of my elbow <laughs> when I bend my arm and stuff. So just like the other pieces, this has a clip that connects to the torso so that it pretty much goes on like a big shirt um, and I wear it like that like you would any other piece of clothing except this one's heavy and it limits your movement. <laughs> so you know I know what it is. But yeah, so this arm right here is actually the special one because I put magnets in it, and it opens up. Whoa! Yeah, so it pretty much uh, is supposed to be like the mini game where you have to replace Freddy's hands with the the like Simon Says puzzle thing. So it's got these buttons on there, and you can kind of see the endoskeleton bits. Um, I wasn't really able to put a ton of detail, so that's why it's black here instead of like. Uh, the inside of his arm being hollow um, because I have to fit my arm in here <laughs> and I made it as small as I could without it cutting off circulation <laughs> so that's uh, how it turned out um, I think it looks really cool and it's really fun to have the whole costume on and like walk around and like pop it open though I might have to modify it a little bit in the future because it's not super easy to pop open or keep it open if that makes sense because uh, when I got the whole getup on, uh, it likes to easily <laughs> close back up, so I haven't really had a chance to use it properly for photos or anything, so I might try to modify it and add like a little magnet to hold it open, because at the moment, if I just hold it fancily, or well, if I just sort of hold it, it'll like close itself by accident. Um, so I might try to add magnets to like hold it open, if that makes sense. But yeah, so there's that arm, and here is the left arm. So as you can see, I made them look super similar. Um, I wanted them to pretty much look identical, to be totally honest. Um, except this one can open up and show the insides, and this one is just made to look like it can open up and show the insides. So this one is actually just a solid piece here, um, and it does not actually open up. It is simply... <laughs> an arm uh, sleeve thing uh, unlike the other one so I wanted it to not look out of place to have one have like big gaps on it for it to be able to open up and the other one not so I pretty much did my best to match the external bits of the arm that could open to the arm that can't and I feel like I did a pretty decent job matching it so that's what that one looks like Ooh. And now for the torso! I'm actually pretty happy with how this torso turned out. Um, it is one <laughs> giant solid piece, like none of these things move at all. Um, with Springtrap, his shoulder pads, when I first made it, 
um, were able to like move a little bit and that kind of caused problems later on because then the joint part would like break and I had to fix it constantly. So with Glamrock Freddy having freaking ginormous shoulder pads, I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'ma just glue these suckers down from the get-go because I don't want to have to fix these shoulder pads every time I wear the costume because of how heavy they are. So this is literally one solid piece <laughs> and it's, it definitely limits the like posability a little bit because of them being solid and connected to it, but I feel like it's worth it for me not to have to repair it every single time I wear the costume, if that makes sense to you guys. Ooh, throwing stuff. But yeah, another cool thing about Glamrock Freddy's uh, torso is it's got magnets in it. Um, and it's able to open up. So, da da da. I think it's pretty cool looking. I tried my best to kind of replicate what it looks like in game um, with the chest being able to open up. And I added a couple little details here and there with like the, the like spring looks to like the torso section right here. And I just personally really like how it looks when it pops open. The uh, top plate here is just got a couple pieces of like metallic plastic <laughs> stuck to them um, because like when I open it, it's this uh, hollow section that's like the main thing that people are gonna look at. So I just wanted this to kind of not get like too distracting. So that's why you can't really see a lot of details on this part, but you can on that part. So you know. It is what it is. It's pretty much just connected by a little black strap up here and then magnets at the base that hold it in place. And I can move around quite a bit without it ever popping open. It's actually almost held in place too good because when I'm in the full costume, it's kind of hard to actually pop it open, especially when I have the hands on. Um, but I personally really like how it looks. It's really cool. Yeah. Here's the back. Pretty much just orange. <laughs> Next we have his hands. So, I actually really like how these turned out. Uh, both of them are pretty much identical. Um, I can only really wear one at a time easily, um, but I'll kind of show you this one up close and then just show you the other one. So, this one, um, as you can see, I technically, normal normal people, it's, it's kind of crazy, have four fingers, right? Four. This one has three. That's so crazy. So I got a little creative and pretty much my pinky and a ring finger is uh, glued together. It took me a second to remember what that was. Um, are glued together and I made them uh, look like it's a singular finger. Um, and then I pretty much had to match the other two fingers to the scale of this one. So that's why these ones are a little bit wider than normal. And if you look on the back here, um, this finger is actually, I don't know how well you can see it, it's off center but it looks like it's not because of the uh, scale of it. So it's like, you can kind of see it better this way. You can see the little black part dividing it right there. That's my actual finger, and you can see that it's not in the center of this one. So it looks like three fingers and a thumb, um, but I actually have four fingers. Pretty surprising, right? Um, <laughs> Low-key, when I finished this, I was like, I was kind of trippy. I got three fingers now. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I'll try to put the other one on. Kind of hard to do it with one hand. Just like that, it's easy. That it's actually quite simple when you think about it. But yeah, so these are his hands. I think they look really cool. They took freaking forever to make. Um, and the little claw pieces at the end are custom. Uh, molded like um, thermal plastic that's what it's called and then I painted it blue so that's what these are um, and I think they turned out really cool so yeah, there's his hands um, I can hold stuff it's just a little bit more difficult because my actual finger ends pretty much right at this line and this is just extension um, so it gets a little difficult grabbing things but I am able to uh, hold different props and things as Glamrock Freddy still. It's, uh, I just wanted his hands to be large because he's a big boy. And yeah, so I do plan on actually making a microphone for him to hold, like a full like mic stand and everything. Um, I don't have it done yet, 
So, I'm not probably gonna make an update video for that, but if you see him in like a music video or something, he's got a microphone, uh, just assume that I made it, <laughs> I guess, yeah. Alright, and the last thing to show you guys is his hand! Ta -da! Now, I technically already have a showcase on this uh, entire thing, though that was before I updated it a few times, so I'm pretty much going to give you a general look at this rather than like an in-depth one that I did in that video. So if you want to see a lot more of this up close, check out this video. <laughs> um, but yeah, since then, I have updated not only his eyes, but also his top hat and his teeth. So um, his mouth actually has pointy teeth now, unlike the like uh, foam ones I had in there. And I extended the straps a little bit so that um, his mouth actually sits open a little bit more than it used to. So then when I'm opening and closing it, uh, it actually looks like <laughs> it's supposed to. Um, and then also I added a bunch of brown paint grime all over him. And yeah, so I'm actually quite a fan of the new top hat in comparison to the old one. Uh, here's the old one. Yes, I still have it. I'm really bad at throwing stuff away. So here's the old one in comparison to the new one. Uh, it looks <laughs> a thousand times better. And I actually, when I went to uh, Motor City Comic Con, I got it signed by uh, Kellen Goff himself. So pretty stoked about that. So top of the Freddy's hat is now got uh, his signature on it permanently. So pretty stoked. <laughs> Also, one more thing, if Kellen Goff ever watches this video, I will literally die, so feel free to tweet it to him. And if you're watching this, uh, send me a message and I can make you a bonbon hand puppet. Thanks a lot. No diss me, senpai. <laughs> then the last thing I wanted to show you guys on this dude is his new eyes. So, they don't change color anymore, but they do light up like the full eyeball instead of just the iris. So. I just decided to go with this and then in post I can just make his eyes purple or red or back to normal. Um, <laughs> just because I do that anyway with all of my other characters so I was like you know might as well just keep them simple and I actually think these eyes look a thousand times better than what they used to look like. And then also with his like eyebrows, these like black sections here, it's actually 3D. I don't know if you can tell, but they stick off of his face a little bit, so that if I tilt his head up, he looks more, like, happy and friendly, but if I tilt his head down, it physically makes him look more angry. So, like, because Glamrock Freddy is, like, a good character, and he only ever gets mad or, like, spooky when he's, like, possessed or whatever, um, I wanted him to be able to be, uh, angry, like this. Angry. Or just like uh, goofy and happy and like, where to go, superstar? Like that. So that's what I did with that. And yeah, I used to have him down on that shelf right there, but I'm actually going to be replacing uh, Molten Freddy uh, over here. So as you can see, uh, Molten Freddy in the corner there. Uh, I'm going to be replacing that mannequin with uh, Glamrock Freddy after this. And yeah, so. That pretty much wraps up the showcase side of this. Now I'm going to hop into the costume and kind of give you guys a quick little look of the whole thing together. So, here we go! Way to go, Superstar! Trying to take control of me. I do not think I can fight it for long. Stop him.
you see the small vent on the floor? Have you ever heard of Among Us, Gregory? You need to be- you need to vent. I know it will be hard enough for you to be sus, but I know you can do it, Gregory. <laughs>